I was with someone, um, and we were fully saying, I love you, but we weren't together. I think I write a lot of songs to, like, to send to people. And I've always been that girl, like, since I was, um, like, in high school. Just, like, writing songs and being like, send. And then the person being like, what the fuck, you crazy bitch. You know, T is T, and I think, you know, you write songs and you want you want certain people to hear them. Like, that's just, it's, it's an emotional game we're playing. You get a lot of love songs about feeling like in desperation, feeling in need of something that you're not getting. And I like the idea that in this song, it's like fully that y'all love each other, but the commitment element of it isn't solid. I know you're with me, and I'd love to see someone else call you. I know you're with me, and I would love to see some other bitch call you. It won't work. <laughs> it won't happen. And all this in between, you think it's hard for me to tell you're falling, we're falling. It's so visceral, I feel like, when you're in love. Like, with you, you, you know that something feels kind of like sickening and, and amazing at the same time. You feel like you're like exploding, you know, just like, like the, your whole body is like, ah! The reason why we say falling in love is because we all, it's a universal feeling. We all know what it feels like to feel like completely out of control of a situation. And that lack of control can be like the horniest thing in the world. Being chill, being chill with you. Oh, it kills, I ain't chill at all, at all. I really don't want to appear crazy in front of you. Like, I, I can't let you know this early on that I have zero chill. But if you're somebody like me, like, I really just don't. I have a very hard time being chill. I'm not a chill girl. I'm, like, on 11 all the time. And that's just, like, my manager is nodding. We say I love you, but we ain't together and do you think labels make it taste much better and darling do you think that if i talk enough i will make you wanna be mine we ain't together i think that's the question of the song it's like is it better when you lock it down is it more fun does it make the pussy taste better i don't know Cut off all these hoes. I cut off all of my hoes for you. Numbers deleted. No, not numbers deleted. But very much, I think it was supposed to be like a full, like, like a gag, a bit of a gag, because it's like, like, I don't, I would never like call like someone a hoe, like in a way that wasn't endearing. But I think it, in this context, it was supposed to be like, I did this for you. Baby, you don't gotta worry about nothing, because everybody knows. That you and I got that something. Everyone knew that there was some like hot, heavy shit going down. Everyone knows, like, we hot together. I can't watch this fall apart. Well, musically, I was like, I really loved the idea of like modeling it after old school bridges, which is basically like a minor to major chord switch and like having kind of like background vocals, this like weird drum, like having a bunch of drum fills and it kind of sounding almost orchestral, like instead of it being like super wordy, like I, I wanted it to just feel like, um, notes moving down, like like notes falling down, and then that one line uh, being, I can't watch this fall apart. We say I love you, but we ain't together. And do you think labels make it taste much better? And darling, do you think that if I talk enough, I will make you wanna be mine? Till you don't say you and I ain't together. I don't feel like any like art person in the artistic field's life is like super stable. So I think a lot of songs where you see people looking for stability, it's like you have to remember that it's coming from the perspective of someone who like lives on a bus for half the year. No, seriously, the, the lyrics are a little bit like manic. I was, I am a manic person. <laughs>